I'm doing some clearing up around here. In the summer, this is beautiful with purple sage and red valerian and the cotone aster behind. But I'm doing a huge clear up of the dead material. I have all the dogs around me. There's Pepper. Those two terrors. The she-wolf and the big fella. And Bear sitting on his throne. But uh, I don't clear everything up. So I leave the back part. This is the purple sage. I leave the back part because this stuff here, right here, this stuff here is the old valerian. And when you get to, let's see if I can find a piece that's convenient to show you. Um, well, oh, there, up there at the top where it's thick. Those thick stems right there those I leave out because the wasps need it. I know everybody's going like, yeah, wasps, yuck, 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 sting, sting, sting. Wasps are very, very important. But wasps need that dead plant material. You can see more of it there. And I leave it up there for the wasps. I've got to get rid of that ash tree right there because it's growing in this old water tank. Um, and it'll, when it goes through, it'll break it open, which is not what I want to do. But back to the wasps. The wasps use the dead plant material up there, this very uh, fibrous stuff for making their nests. And it's very important. They make their paper nests from the previous year's dead plant material. And it's really, really important to make sure that you don't clear up all the stuff so let's see if I can find, here's, this is valerian from last year. And this dead plant material is the perfect fiber. And they, you can hear them. There's a distinctive sound of wasps. It's like wasps, there's a rasping sound. And they're basically chewing all the way down this fiber. And they go chew, 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 chew. And you can hear them rasping when they're building their nests. And they pulpate this dead plant material and then they spit it out making their beautiful paper nests and valerian is a favorite the previous year's valerian is a favorite material for wasps so i leave lots of valerian when it's down there that's valerian blooming coming forward and there is some honesty this is honesty which is a a um biannual so hopefully this year the honesty here will bloom. This is the door to my spinning workshop, by the way, for those of you who don't know. But the valerian here, I'll cut back just because it tidies up the entranceway to the spinning workshop. And uh, I've chopped back the sage a little bit because it was growing really well. But it was really, really beautiful last year. Uh, but that's why I don't clear it all up. There's a huge pile I've just cleared up there. You can see Pepper snoozing next to it. But um, I don't clear it all up because the wasps need building material. So that's my one of my morning jobs done. Now, old bit of valerian and the dog, do, two dogs are going to play with it. <laughs> and good old Pepper enjoying some of the sun we're having at the moment and Inca so that's a little corner that I've just tidied up but partially tidied up oh and we're going to have a fantastic display of foxgloves these are foxgloves here they're another biannual and I always let them go to seed here and throw them about the place and so we're gonna have a fantastic display of foxgloves come this later this year. These are seedlings and cuttings that I'll be putting in the garden uh, that I took last year and planted out. So yeah, busy days while I wait for sheep to lamb and dogs play with bits of valerian. <laughs> <laughs> it 
I'm practically carrying Maya with the stick. Oh, it's not a bit of Valerian. It's a bit of Catoniaster I pruned. So they're having a good old play. 